Um, I picked this off the net, um, and it's based off of physicsclassroom.com. I really like that website, like I said earlier. It's a great place, kind of, as a resource. So them, Khan Academy, are really great resources um, if you need some help outside of class. I purposely left the acceleration in here, even though it's something that we haven't gone over yet. That's something that we're going to do today. Um, but it's kind of a good way to think about what's actually going on. So we'll come back to it, but initially I do want to fix the or do the stuff that we should know already, which is interpreting position versus time graphs. So here it's going to tell you a motion and you're going to do your best ability in figuring out what does the position or D. So remember, I like using D, but you're welcome to, um, to use either P or D. So P or you could do P. Up to you. Um, I like to use D for displacement. All right, so displacement versus time graph. All right, so if it's remaining at rest, it could be a zero. A horizontal line. That's not perfectly horizontal, but hopefully you get the point. A horizontal line. It could be down here, it could be up here, it could be even below there. A horizontal line means it's not moving. So I'll just kind of do it in the middle here because then I can explain what's going to happen next. If it's moving, it just means there's a slope. Positive or negative. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't tell you which one it is. It just tells you it's moving. So both of them will be correct. So it'll be a horizontal line and then a slope. Here, moving fast, moving slow. Once again, it doesn't tell you if it's positive or negative. So you have to determine which one it is for yourself. So for us, let's just say it's going to be positive, just to, because that's, I guess, the, the norm, I guess, if there isn't anything. So if it's moving slow, it's going to have a slope. Um, and then we're going to compare the two. So if the other one's moving faster, that means the slope is going to be greater. So smaller slope, bigger slope, slow, fast. Okay. The same thing could happen if you decide to do negative, it would just be kind of the mirror image. It doesn't have to be perfectly the same, but the slope is not as big and the slope gets steeper. This one does tell you um, which way it's moving, positive or negative. So here, positive direction, that means positive slope. Negative direction means negative slope. It could be like this, right? That's um, a curve. So either way will work. Moving at constant speed, means a straight line. Accelerating means a curve. doesn't have to be positive. It could be negative. So it could be backwards. Looks exactly the same, but backwards. It could even do this, you know. So it's up to you. Just know the main cost up here is constant speed means straight line. Accelerating means curve. Okay, and we'll get more into that today. Move in positive direction, speed up. So that will be kind of like a rocket. Positive direction, speed up. Positive uh, direction, slow down. So we're going to see more and more of this soon. Move in negative direction, speed up. So it will be exactly the opposite. Negative direction, speed up. And then negative direction, slow down. And this will make more sense later, I promise. But I wanted you to think about it. So today we're going to talk about this in more detail. Okay, so that's kind of it for, for that. Let me kind of highlight it, take a really quick screenshot and we get along. Okay, so that's those answers. The next one that I really want to highlight is number four. Um, it says use your understanding of slope and shape to determine. So it's the same thing, but the opposite. So before it was giving you a description and then you had to describe the graph or draw the graph here. You have a graph and you do a description. So here you have this one and this one. So we're going to describe these two little segments. This one you're moving in positive direction.
and here you're moving at a constant speed and then here is not moving so constant positive not moving here it's kind of like what we did before positive slow and here is positive fast and what I mean by positive again is direction here it looks like a rocket so you're going positive slow to fast here you have positive constant speed still positive but here you're going fast to slow and then not moving okay so we're going to describe all these we're going to come back to this again but we're going to do the same thing The last one that I kind of want to highlight is this one. And this is kind of just a way to practice slope. So here, rise over run. Rise is 20 meters. The run is 5 seconds. So the just divide the 2. You should get 4 meters per second in a positive direction. Here, the rise is 25. Initial was 5. So, and then your time is from 0 to 5 seconds. So that's also 4 meters per second squared, or sorry, 4 meters per second positive. Um, so it's the same graph, same slope, it's just this different starting position. Here you're starting at 25 and you end at 0, so 0 minus 25. Divide by 5, and you get negative 5 meters per second. Here, you start at negative 25, you end at 5, so it'll be 5 minus 25, divide by 5, so that gives you negative 4 meters per second. So it's just good practice um, of that here. Okay. And that's it. We will come back to this one today, but we kind of did it right here.